I'm Tom Hiscox, welcome to my studio. I'm a full-time artist living and working here in beautiful Wiltshire and this is a selection of my work. Before I became an artist, I worked in horse racing, initially as a stable lad, spent some time as an assistant trainer, uh, and then I managed Nottingham Racecourse. I even got a, a ride at the Cheltenham Festival. Uh, I then spent about 16 years working in the commercial world in business to business sales, but to be honest, that just wasn't me. So uh, at the age of about 45, I went back to school, applied and got a place to do a Fine Art BA at the Ruskin Art School in Cambridge. I've, I've always drawn and painted, but whilst I was at the Ruskin Art School, I became fascinated by sculpture, and beyond this, how I could maybe combine classic and new techniques to explore the theme of constancy and change. Constancy and change is kind of the focus of my work now creating work that has literal and metaphorical layers to it. Work which is constant and yet which gives you different perspectives depending on the angle you look at it from, the light, the time of day, etc. Depending on the subject, I create a model that, in the way that many sculptors would do, using clay or plastiline. But then rather than getting it cast, I have it 3D scanned. Uh, so I have the, the data of the piece electronically which I can then slice up into layers. At the same time, I'm thinking about what material I'm going to use. Then it's a case of getting each section cut and assembling each piece by hand. Each piece is laid out here, uh, cut in copper, ready to prepare for assembly. Um, I cut the copper thread by hand and have these spaces specially engineered to go in between each of the layers. So the layers build up one by one to create the sculpture and then I weld uh, off the final piece to hold the whole thing together. And just to finish it, uh, again I'll polish it and then heat the copper, which is what puts the colour into it. It's not easy making a living as an artist, but I'm really glad I've done it. I get to work with inspiring and clever people, have really meaningful conversations, I feel constantly challenged, but I feel extremely privileged to do what I do.